be sure to click the notification bell for all notifications. That way, you'll be notified as soon as So many are overdue. Oh, hello. Um, what brings you to our library? Okay, are you looking for anything specific? Oh. Well, we have um, basically everything um, besides the ones that are extremely overdue. Um, what is it that you said you wanted? You want your book. Oh. Um, well, there's problems with that. People particularly don't like, uh, reading their own books because they don't like the main character, usually. Mm. Yeah, um, if I was you, I wouldn't read your book. But, yeah, some people left really depressed, um, but you can take potions to forget, um, if that's what you wanted, of course. We, I, I don't do that, so you would have to do that yourself. Um, yeah. I don't really like to touch a lot of things. That's why I kind of keep my hands out of the way of, um, a lot of things, because people are very germ germy, and I'm kind of OCD, so I like to just, you know, keep, keep my hands away from, yeah, the outside and keep in my own little world here and in my wonderful books. Okay, so is there anything that else that I could help you with? <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna look through my library card catalogs. Let's see, I pulled some out, so get a better look at them. So, there we have one that's Scott Cunningham. So we're gonna go through a couple of his, and you can just tell me if those are something that you'd probably be interested in. Um, Scott Cunningham, 1983. Earth Power, Techniques of Natural Magic. Um, the ways of magic are revealed in nature. I'm ringing a bell? No. Not interested. Okay. Um, how about Scott Cunningham's 1985 Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs? Yes, yeah, for magic with herbs and spells. Okay, you might be interested in that one. Hmm? Okay, well, I'll keep this one off to the side. Okay. Uh, next one is same guy. 1986. Uh, the complete book of incense, oils, and brews. So, incense and oils made easy. Hmm. Oh, no. okay, that's fine. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so Scott Cunningham's 1987. The Magical Household. So, Mm -hmm. Yeah, create a magical household, a 
haven of harmony, safety, spirituality, security, and romance. Mm, I like romance. Mm, I just get so swept away. And... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, okay, so the benefits include a happier existence, protection against thieves, improves health. Mm. Yes, that's a good one. Um, yeah, you look like you could use a little improvement in your health. Mm. No offense. Mm. So, restful sleep, satisfying spiritual experiences, and a perfect environment for positive magic. You're not interested in that either. Hmm. What are you interested in? Anything? Okay. Okay, let's see. So, um, the next one uh, we have here on our lawn. I'm sorry. Thought I just heard something. Okay, so the next one um, I have here is uh, Scott Cunningham, 1988. Wicca, a guide for the solitary practitioner. Hmm? So Cunningham's classic introduction to Wicca is about how to live life magically, spiritually, and Holy, attuned with nature. Mm, okay, I guess you're not interested in that one either. Okay, so let's see. We got a few more. I should can should I continue? So, um, we have Scott Cunningham's 1988, The Truth About Witchcraft Today. Here is the first real look at the facts about witchcraft and the religion of Wicca. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have Scott Cunningham, 1988. Uh, Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Crystal, Gem, and Metal Magic. No? Okay, you don't even want me to go. Okay, um, <clears throat> are you looking for anything specific? Because it doesn't seem as if you're really interested in anything, to be honest. So, <laughs> okay, next one. Okay, Magical Aromatherapy by Scott Cunningham, 1989. Does that one ping your interest? Combines the modern science of aromatherapy with ancient science of magical perfumery. I personally like that one. So you'll get this one. Go. Okay. We'll put that to the side. Okay. So, what about uh, Scott Cunningham, 1990? The magic of food. Mm. You thinking? Okay. I mean. You do look like you could eat a little healthier. Not interested, okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, so at Cunningham 1991, Earth, Air, Fire, and Water, more techniques of natural magic. No. Okay. Okay, what about 
Oh, okay. That's it? Oh. Well. Put these away. <laughs> Since you're not interested in anymore. Well, um, we did have a, a dream one as well. No. Oh, okay. Okay, so now let me just look up. Uh, we wanted the magical aromatherapy. And you also wanted Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. Okay, well, give me a second and I will look these up and see if we have them. You have to keep your voice down. You're being a little too loud. This is a library after all, okay? Yes. Or you will be banned from the library. Oh, no. We, we take peace and quiet very seriously here. Um, and no violence. So, I don't know where you got your bloody wound from, but, um... We do have a bathroom, um, if you would like to use it to be more presentable. Okay, let's see. Let me see if we have, uh, those two books here. Sorry to give you the bad news, but those books are actually out right now, and they are about 10 years overdue, so yeah. Okay, so we're back to the book. Are you 100% sure that you really want to look at your book? Well, the magic is running a little bit low, so I will go ahead and get you your book. And this here is our little magic powder that we use in emergencies. So, if you do want to use some of this, I will allow it. Hmm. Okay, so one last question I have for you is Do you have a library card? Oh. Well, that can be a bit of a problem when you come to a library. Yes, you need a library card just like any library that you go to around the world. No, I can't just give you the book. You have to have a library card. I can get you signed up for one. Yes. Okay, so I will get you all signed up. Have you ever been to our library before? Okay, well, how would you expect me to know that, personally? 
this is the first time I've ever met you. <laughs> oh, okay. So, well, we can get you all signed up. So you can get your library card. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you have to be approved first. Mm. Yes, you do. Because if you do damage one of the books, um, we have pretty strict rules on that. And you know, it's just a few hundred years here at the library that you'd have to work. Um, I quite like it here. I'm sure you would too. Um, approval would go much faster if you did work here. Oh! How long is approval? Well, it can take about 20 years or so to get approved for a library card, um, but like I said, if you decided to work here at our library, um, the time would go by much faster. Okay, what's your name? Last name? Okay, and your date of birth? Your home address. Hmm. Okay. Uh, your blood type. Yes, we we have to. O positive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so have you ever been extremely late on any book returns? Okay. I'm talking about it any library that you've ever been. Okay, you've never had a library card? Anywhere. Hmm. I think that is the first for me. Okay. No previous library card. Hmm. Unusual. But okay. Those ones can take a bit longer. Mm hmm Oh, yeah, approval can take a little bit longer if you've never had a library card. Ever. So, it'd be best to tell me if you're lying, um, about, you know, having one. Ever having one. Okay. 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 Hmm. Okay. So... We will do an extensive background check on you and, um, you know, a few other minor details. Um, yeah, and uh, we will mail you the letter. Yes, you'll get a, a letter in the mail. So, yes, you'll just get a letter in the mail. 
and we'll go from there and then you can get those books that you want well actually no you can't get those books until they're returned but like I said uh, if you would like to work here for 20 years 20 to 50 years those go by so fast when you're here trust me um, and the, the aging is, you know, you don't really age here at all, so, yeah. Um, the work is very re rewarding, so, um, you could also be our guy that gets overdue books and returns them for us. We could really use another one. You'll think about fine with me. Um, if you need to go clean up, the bathroom is right over there. Mm. I wonder what is in that book. Let me see. I, I like to snoop through everyone's books. I, it's just something that I like. I just love it. Mm. Oh, this one smells as if it's gonna have a bad ending. I'm just gonna skip to the ending. And he died falling down the stairs. Well. That ending was awful. Okay. Maybe I should give them the book, but I'm a good librarian. Hi. Uh, yes, you can exit right where you came in. Um, thank you for stopping into our library today. And uh, we'll get back to you. You're, you're still going to stay for a while? Okay, that's fine. You just um, find a nice cozy spot to sit down and relax and watch every little step that you take. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Watch, watch your step, please. 